Hi everyone, this is Shavaya Loves Makeup and this is a review tutorial slash tutorial on um, L'Oreal's Infallible in the color Beyonce. And this is um, one of their new newer colors and it is in that traffic stopping red. I had an evening event to go to the other night and I usually would not wear red lipstick but I thought what the heck. Um, this one claims um, to be long wearing, not to wipe off on your lips, on like a glass that you're drinking. Um, you really have to scrub it off. That's what it claimed. So I was looking forward to trying it and I did. So I'm going to show you how I use it and it actually did do what it claimed to do. The first thing I do, um, some folks have claimed uh, that it makes their lips flaky. It didn't make mine flaky at all, but if you want to uh, make sure uh, to make your lips as moist as possible before putting on the product, I would exfoliate it just by using a washcloth and um, just some warm water and it gets rid of the dead and dry flaky skin on your lips. Um, then before I use any lip product, I always use my Nivea Kiss of Smoothness. This product retails for, I think I got it about $11, $11 at um, the local Walmart. This is the lip color and on the other side is a gloss because you will see that the lip color is fairly sticky by itself and um, kind of a matte-ish color if you don't put the gloss on top. So in order to really use this effectively, you've got to cover every corner of your mouth open really wide and um, you don't need a lip liner so you really need to be as accurate as possible. I'm just going to turn the camera a little bit so I can see and so I'm not going to talk through this part as I put on the lip color. It goes on very wet, a bit sticky, and you do have a few seconds, if you make any mistakes, you have a few seconds to um, uh, erase the mistakes by getting um, some makeup remover on a Q-tip and um, getting within the lines. I do not accentuate my Cupid's bow. I feel like it makes, that's a trick that I learned is to, um, not accentuate the cupid's bow and that gives you kind of a fuller looking lip. So the full directions are to wait for two minutes until the um, lip color dries so you continue to um, do the rest of your face then put a second application and I'm not gonna do that right now but you can see it. I can feel it drying it is sticky it is sticky I will admit that um, and then the second part is just a clear this clear gloss and you put that right on top and I didn't wait the total full minute, the full two minutes so I'm getting a little fallout but I tell you that this is pretty much true to color this is what it's going to look like for the rest of the evening you do not need to reapply it I think it is an appropriate traffic stopping red for an evening event. I would not, I, I did another video on uh, professional makeup tips for interviews and for the office. I wouldn't wear this necessarily unless you were at like a networking or a cocktail affair, but you don't, this is the great thing is you don't have to worry about it um, rubbing off on like a wine glass or whatever you're drinking. Um, it, I, I love it. I do have another color. This is 500 in, it's called Thistle. And this looks more like a mauve color. It's not one of the celebrity inspired colors. So I'm, I haven't even opened it. So I'm looking forward to using this more um, regularly. I think it is probably more of a color that I would wear more often to work. I think it would be a, more appropriate to work. So I think I, this would have more utility in my arsenal of lip products. But I just wanted to give a rave and a little bit of a tutorial on Beyonce Red. I don't know the difference between a blue red and an orange red or a cherry red. 
this is red to me. <laughs> and um, when I have a full makeup, a full makeup face, um, I did quite, I did get quite a few compliments. So I hope you did enjoy this review. If you have any questions about Beyonce Infallible, please let me know. And thank you for watching.